Hi guys, welcome to LES Matters TV. On this channel, we focus on everything early childhood related. If these are the kind of things you're looking forward, you have to do subscribe and not just subscribe, turn on that notification bell, which is the red icon, so that each time a new video is being dropped on this channel, you'll be the first person to be notified. Today, I'm going to be talking about safety practices in early childhood settings, yes. Today's discussion is going to be all about some safety measures you can put in place in your early childhood setting. I'll start by letting you know that safety is really important in the early childhood setting. Educators, you have a paramount role in relation to ensuring safety in your early childhood classrooms. It starts by ensuring your own safety, and which includes ensuring the children's safety and your own safety as well. Yes, you had me right. Your own safety is also important. So I'm going to be talking about some of the safety practices or measures that you can put in place. Important that you keep children safe by using active supervision. Yes, I'd explain. You might be wondering what is active supervision all, ab all about? Don't worry, I'm going to really break it down. So in relation to active supervision, it really means that you're constantly supervising the children. You're paying closer attention to what the children are doing at every point in time. This is important. I do say to my student that in relation to working with young children, you need to keep a close eye on them. This is important. Because between the space of, oh, you want to pick up something and you're letting the children on, the, on their own, an accident could occur. So in order to ensure that accidents do not occur, you ensure you're engaging in active supervision. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes there are some injuries that occur that even though with supervision it happens, yes, that, that's understandable. But it's important in relation to safety that you're engaged in active supervision, constantly supervising the children all the time, paying closer attention to what they're doing. You're monitoring their movement. You're guiding them. You know, seconds, if you're not hearing the children saying anything, check on them, look for them to make sure that they are safe. This is really important. So one of those safety measures that you can put in place in your early childhood setting is to practice active supervision yes ensure that you're supervising the children all the time this is really important in relation to safety safety practice that you can put in place is to create a safe environment yes it's important that you create a safe environment for yourself and also for the children in relation to the children, if the environment is safe for them, they'll be able to try, they'll be able to explore. So it's important, safety comes first in relation to early childhood. So you need to ensure that you create a safe environment for the children, both indoor and outdoor space, it has to be safe for the children. For instance, in relation to the indoor space, make sure that the shelves are lower level when the children can easily reach out for the books. For instance, if you have the books at the level, the children might want to struggle to reach out for it and injury could occur maybe they are trying to pull the shelves and maybe the work can happen next so in relation to creating a safe environment ensure that the book at lower level you have a non-slippery floor you have a non-toxic paint and many other things so it's important that you ensure that the environment is safe for the children the outdoor space as well have a quick check do your feasibility study before the children go out to play go out there and make sure that everything is safe that the materials the resources that the children are going to be using to play is safe. So another safety practice that you can put in place is to make sure that you create a safe environment for yourself and also for the children as well. So it's important for you as the educator as well, you have to ensure that the environment is safe for you, the environment is conducive for you. Because like I do say on this channel, you can't give what you don't have. So if you're not safe yourself, if you're not comfortable in the environment, are you going to ensure that the children are safe as well? So in relation to safety, it's also important that you put yourself as well Irrespective of the measures that you are putting in place in relation to safety, you have to also include yourself as well. All right. And in relation to ensuring safety, your role as educator is really important because there are some things that you can prevent from happening. But when you're not there, you will prevent things. And there are some things that could be prevented if somebody is there under the adult supervision. And like I said, some of the safety practices that you can put in place in your early childhood setting. And if you want more of this on this channel, what do you have to do? Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And not just subscribe, turn on that notification bell which is the red icon so that each time a new video is being dropped on this channel you'll be the first person to be notified until i come your way next time stay safe and mind yourselves for now bye